What is up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and we're back with another kind of BIOS walkthrough and overview. And this time we're checking out the BIOS on the Asus Prime Z370A. And this BIOS should be pretty much the same across all of Asus's Z370 motherboards. You know, for different series like ROG and things like that, there'll be different skins, but the options should be pretty much the same. And if you use a Asus BIOS in the past, within the past few years, this should look very familiar because they haven't really changed the layout all that much, which is never a bad thing. Um, so first, when you load into the BIOS, you'll be in this easy mode right here. And within the easy mode, you know, we have our time and date and all that kind of stuff. You can easily change your language just by clicking on this right here. You have information on your processor and board and memory uh, all right here. And you can easily enable or disable your XMP profile. So again, just doing, you know, a first time install, you want to set your profile very easily to do right there. You have all of your fans right here and you can see all the fans that are connected and their speed or what they're currently running at. We have our CPU temperature in real time on this graph as well as our motherboard temperature and our CPU core voltage. SATA information right here. You can turn on uh, Intel RST you know, easily on or off. You can see your CPU fan curve right here. And you can actually open QFAN control and you can set you know, standard, silent, turbo, full speed or manual curve. So you can set up your curves for all your fans within the BIOS before you even load windows which is something if you don't want to mess with software this is an easy way you can go ahead and do that um, easy system tuning we have it on normal you can set it to fast tuning or extreme tuning if you want we'll just leave it back on normal and then boot priority here so if we have more drives we can easily just like move this up or down and select our boot priority if we want to and that's the easy mode you know it's just those easy settings you know Boot priority and XMP are probably the two things that you're going to want to set before you even get into Windows. Um, so, you know, those are right here. Easy to do. The QFAN thing is another nice thing that you can have just before, you know, you get into Windows. And again, if you're doing like custom loops and, and things like that where you need fans to be going at a certain speed, uh, you can do that before you even have to install Windows and all of that. So that is the easy mode. Now to go into advanced mode, you can either go down here or you can just hit F7, you know, and that just toggles back between the two. Um, so in advanced mode here, we're brought to our main kind of, you know, uh, thing. It just shows information here on your BIOS processor. You can change your language. And if you go down here, um, you can set your security, which would be like if you want a password on your BIOS and things like that. Over to the left, we have the favorites menu. And this is where you can add different, you know, uh, things so if there's some setting that you need to change a lot or you're always going into the BIOS and switching you can add them all here so you don't have to go through different screens to find the settings that you use all the time you can add things to this menu you can take things off it just makes it easy to have all the settings that you change a lot in one kind of just easy menu that you have here so it makes it really nice now if you're gonna be doing any doing any type of overclocking or system tuning AI tweaker is where you're gonna to want to go. And one thing I like about it is it has all your targets here. Um, so if you are doing overclocking and you change something, the target here will change. So you know sometimes when you're doing certain type of overclocking, you need to calculate, you know what my CPU targets are gonna be or things like that. You won't have to do it. The, the BIOS will tell you, which is really nice. Uh, AI overclock tuner. We have it on XMP. You can put it on auto, which I would suggest a lot of people would do if you're not using memory that has XMP. And then manual would be you know manually uh, tuning your system here. So you know you can change your BCLKs. You can um, change your CPU core ratio. So again, if we change this, say we change this to 50, you can see up here that our uh, turbo mode has changed and our uh, AVX frequency has changed. So Again, when you're changing things, again, we'll change it to 45. You can see it changes up there, so we know what we're shooting for, which is always good. Um, our, our core ratios, of course, this is what you're going to want to set, uh, as I went over BCLK. And uh, DRAM frequency, TPU, there's a 5 gigahertz OC profile, which is already loaded into the BIOS. And that's really nice if you're a first-time overclocker or you're just lazy and you don't want to go ahead and set the settings yourself. You can easily, you know, kind of go ahead and do that. Um, over here we have our DRAM timing control and this is all your timings for your memory. You can go in and set all that up and it actually shows you 
what they're currently running at, which is always good to know. Um, Digi Plus VRM, this is all your like load line calibration and spread spectrums and things like that. Um, internal CPU power management, this is like your turbo mode, your C states and everything like that. Um, or not your C states, but all of your uh, duration, package durations and power limits and things like that. So you can go ahead and set all of that up. And Tweakers Paradise is even more settings, things you really wanna tweak and change with your system. You can go ahead and do that. And uh, we go down here, we have our minimum and maximum cache ratios, and then we come down to our voltages. And in our voltages, of course, the two important ones here are the CPU core and our DRAM voltage. Um, of course, those are the two you're probably gonna wanna change, but you have more voltages um, options here that you can go ahead and set. And that's pretty much the AI Tweaker. I really like AI Tweaker. It has all of like the overclocking and tuning settings within this one menu. Um, really easy to overclock and it just works and everything's pretty easy to find within there. Under advanced, that is everything that's on your system. So your USB, your hard drives, your network, Thunderbolt, like everything that's on there, um, we can go in and, and different things with your CPU. So if you go to CPU, it gives you information on the CPU that we're running and then you can do things like an enable, disable hyper threading, you can enable or disable cores, all that kind of stuff with the CPU that you might wanna set, you can do that. And under power management, um, again, here's our C states and you can, you can turn speed step on or off and all that kind of stuff. Go out of there, we can go into see like PCH, or not PCH, PCH storage configuration, that's the one I wanted to go into. And um, we have our SATA controllers in here. We have, you know, you can see what's actually connected to the SATA controllers. You can enable or disable them. All that kind of stuff you can set. Um, under our Thunderbolt, you can turn Thunderbolt on or off. You have to get the extra uh, adapter card for this board, but the connector is there. Onboard devices is pretty much everything else. So you can turn on your audio controller, you can set your M.2 configurations, you can turn the USB 3.1 controller on or off, the LAN controller on or off, all that kind of stuff that you might wanna set, you can go ahead and do that. USB configuration, like you can set legacy USB support if you want, USB keyboard and mouse you know, simulator, all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can turn single ports on and off, which is pretty cool. Uh, not sure how that would be used or why it's effective but you have the ability to actually turn the ports on or off if you want um, under monitor here we can see real-time live monitoring of your temperatures as well as your fan speeds and your voltages now one thing that's cool is that you can have the BIOS ignore some of these so if I go up to our CPU fan speed and I can click on ignore you know if you're running an older AIO or you're running a custom loop or something like that where the CPU fan speed isn't reported um, you can just set this to ignore because if there is no fan speed the BIOS by default won't or won't let the system boot and you'll have to go into the BIOS so it's just easy to just hit that ignore so you can do all that so that's all our stuff in real time pretty easy to do under boot here we have uh, you can enable fast boot your boot configuration um, you know just different things this you know within your boot menu and things like that um, secure boots, boot priorities, of course. And one thing I always like to see right here at the bottom is we have the boot override. So if you're installing Windows for the first time and you're installing from a flash drive, which I would highly recommend, you can use the boot override to, to uh, go to the flash drive first and then on the reboot, it will boot to your normal hard drive. It just saves an extra step and I always like to see boot override within a BIOS. Under tools here, we have a few things. One is the Easy Flash 3 utility. That allows you to easily flash your BIOS. Super easy to do. Um, so if you're upgrading the BIOS, you can do it right in here. Secure Erase, if you have an older SSD or you uh, maybe sold an SSD or something like that, uh, or giving it to a friend, um, you're gonna wanna secure erase that drive so they can't recover any information or something like that. So this allows you to easily secure erase that. Um, overclocking profile, if we go into here, you can save and load up to eight different profiles. So if you had one, maybe down, you know, somebody on the internet had this really great setting that you wanted to use, they can send it to you and you can load it on here if you have the same motherboard and all that kind of stuff. Um, SPD information, it's just information on your memory. And then the graphics card information, um, 
you can go in here and actually see what's installed so you can see our PCI Express slots and we can see we have one card here and the speed that it's running which is pretty cool and under exits um, one thing I always like to see is the load optimized defaults so I've done it a million times where I've just messed something up in the BIOS. I could never figure out what I changed or the course of events that led, you know, the course of changes that led to things being messed up. So I just want to start clean and start from a default setting. Um, load optimized defaults is just really good and it just makes it so you don't have to completely, you know, reset your BIOS. This just sets everything back to default, uh, which I like. Save changes and all of that stuff. And that is pretty much it guys. This BIOS is really easy to use. Um, the easy mode is great for changing a few things and then you have that favorites menu as well. It's really snappy. It doesn't seem to be laggy whatsoever and I haven't had any issues with it at all. Now if you have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave it below. I try to get those to those as fast as I can. We always have a lot of questions on BIOS videos. Um, but if you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button and if you enjoy our tech content, go ahead and subscribe. Till next time, catch you guys later.